So I'm just gonna play melodic minor. Quarter notes, I can do eighth notes. Three flats. All this stuff is cool, but it doesn't sound like music though. Now let's start getting into rhythms. So the way to break out of any patterns or any kind of exercise that you're doing is start thinking rhythmically. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the same scale, the same notes, even the same um, order, but rhythmically. And you'll see that it starts to sound more like a phrasing than anything else. Well, rhythmically play with a rhythm um, but maybe play with the notes a little bit so you see this doesn't sound anymore like uh, I'm playing a scale it sounds more like I'm playing a melody now let's take any of those patterns that we were talking about before, like let's say jumping thirds. That sounds like an exercise, correct? What happens if I start doing the same thing in order to break out of that pattern, start to think about rhythms, but still play the same thing? pattern a little bit while simply the same thing. talk to you about now I just use those thirds and the scale you know but because I was I, you know I tried to break out of the pattern that you exercise to study it I started to think about rhythms and once you start thinking about rhythm you break out of the pattern you also you basically start to develop your kind of your voice like your phrasing you know <laughs> 